I am utilizing the Bid Integrations plugin to establish a connection between these two platforms. Let's go to Bid Integration Dashboard. Create Integration. Search and select Cali Forms. Copy the webhook URL and fetch it. Now go to the Cali Forms dashboard and edit the form. Go to the setting and click on webhook. Give here a name. Create. Paste the webhook URL in the payload URL. Map the respective fields. Save. Test. Test done. Now go to Bid Integrations Dashboard and here you can see the data is fetched successfully. Set Actions Now search and select MailChimp from the Actions. Here you can set the integration name of your preference. Here you have to set the client ID and client secret. To get a new client ID and client secret go to MailChimp API Console. Then click on the Register App button. Now give an app name as your preference. Now go to the Integration setting. Copy the homepage URL and paste it here. And copy the authorized redirect URIs and paste them here. Then click on the Create button. After successfully registering the app, copy the client ID client secret and paste it into the integration setting. Then click the Authorization button. Authorization successful. Then click on the Next button. Select your audience list from the drop-down option. You can add a tag also multiple tags for the contacts that you have created before on your MailChimp account as per your requirement. Now map the field. You can also add address fields to MailChimp's audience by checking this option. Double opt-in action by enabling the double opt-in action admin can ask permission from users if they want to subscribe to MailChimp or not. You can update the MailChimp field in the existing contact checked on Update MailChimp. Here is the conditional logic, you can use it if you want. If the condition matches then the data you will send to MailChimp. Then click on the Next button. Finally, to save the integration process click on Finish and Save. Let's submit a form. Click on Send Message. Form submitted successfully. Open your MailChimp account to check whether the data is sent to your MailChimp account. Thanks for watching.